Hey Leo, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is going to be your, let's see, July 21st to the 31st. So however many days that is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 days. Um, yeah, so this is going to be Leo Sun Moon Rising Venus. You guys know the drill. If you're new to my channel, please do click the bell and subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Thanks. Um, and if you want to get a personal reading, just check the description box below. If you pay with PayPal, please send me an email letting me know uh, what your questions are and your background information. Sometimes I'll get the PayPal payment and then they don't notify me and then I have no idea and I have to, when I go back I check once a week and when I go back it's like already been a week so the PayPal readings they, they usually take up a, a reading or a week or you can just go to instant go and get a reading from me there okay so what is the energy for Leo for the 21st through the 31st of July 2018 Leo Sun Moon Rising or Venus hello okay so I don't pull these in reverse, just the clarifiers. So starting with the Nine of Cups. Wait, I'm sorry. What's my placement? My gosh, my brain. And then the Page of Cups. Three of Swords. The Empress. Five of Wands. I'm sorry, Seven of Wands. And then the seven of cups. So two sevens here. Okay. All right. Your energy here is the empress. Some of you are mothers. You've got this. This is a new beginning. Okay. Whether this is um, a relationship, a birth, uh, someone having a baby. But over it is the three of swords. So tell me what's going on. Was there some kind of a heartbreak? Or, or are you dealing with someone where there's some type of a heartbreak? Some of you um, may be having difficulty getting pregnant, feeling sad. There could be uh, some type of a disconnect with someone or feeling like someone's not with you. I, that, I feel that mostly for those of you who are having a baby, I feel like you're doing it on your own or you are with child. And, you know, you and the child and then the other person, there's some type of break of some sort or you're sad that somebody's not with you either. You know, you're, you're going to have this baby by yourself. There's arguments. There's heartbreak. And it's just for this time period. OK, it's not forever. So let's let's not try to go forever. Um, but then at the same time. And Leo, if you're a male, this could have something to do with your, you have a partner that you're dealing with. It doesn't have to be pregnancy, okay? It could just be difficulty in getting something new off the ground or having some type of a new beginning. <clears throat> some of you, Leo, men could be dealing with your own mother where maybe there's an issue or a heartbreaking situation with your own mother. Okay, so... However, that could resonate for you. Now you've got the Nine of Cups. So this card is someone who feels like they have everything they need. You see his face. He's like got this smug look on his face. Like he's just kind of like, huh, I have all my cups. What do you have? You know, it's almost like he's that gang leader <laughs> where he stands in front of his uh, everybody, you know, and he, he's a big tough guy because he's got all his guys behind him. You know, and he just like, hmm, and you are, and who are you? So I kind of get the, you know, <laughs> that feeling when I look at the nine of cups. I mean, this is the wish card, but it's also someone who's just sometimes a little cocky or just has this energy of like, you know, his arms are folded. So to me, whenever someone's got their arms folded, that's like a defense mechanism. And it's almost as if he's like, I just get, I'm, I'm just picking up this energy of this is someone who is really deranged in their brain. Like this person, they think they're, they have it all. They think they have everything they need. They're just, you could be, this could be someone who has a lot of lovers 
and they take pride in that. And they, you know, arms crossed. I don't need any more. I'm not looking for love. I'm just collecting and I'm putting all of my lovers like trophies on a shelf. Are you going to be next? I can't, it's harsh. I know, but I just feel like that's the energy of this person or who, or at least this is energy. Either this is you or this is somebody else. And then there's the page of cups where, you know, someone's making some kind of a love offer. We have Libra, Taurus, um, Pisces could be sorry. Siri just doesn't always, she goes off. Um, yeah, so I kind of feel like some type of love offer tries to be made or and and this nine of cups is just like, no, doesn't want it. He's just got that smug look on his face. You know, it's kind of like, I'll think about it because he's got all those cups up there. Where is he going to put this 10th one? You know, <coughs> which which makes me think of the 10 of cups because it makes me think that either this person you're dealing with or, you know, whatever they, I feel like it's you, you, you want to have that 10 of cups, which is that family, happy family marriage card. And this person is just not interested right now. Or is just not thinking about this. It's too busy counting all the notches on the belt. I just feel like that's what this person, you know, is coming through. That's what they're doing. And I know this is like sounds kind of crappy, but there's defensive energy here as well. Now we have two sevens. Okay. So whoever you're dealing with, look at, they have all these options. They do. They, they can't, I feel like that's what the issue is. You may be dealing with someone who has asked to step up. You may have asked someone to step up or they're, they, they need to step up and they aren't, they don't know what to do now. Now the pressure's on and they're looking at their life and they're like, Oh, but I could, you know, but I still want to travel or I still want to make all this money. And I still want to date a lot of different people. And I still want to blah, 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 blah. And you know, they're, they're defensive. They're holding off. They're fighting back because they're trying to hold on. They, they can't make a decision. That's really what I feel like is happening. And that's why there's this, heartbreak issue happening here. So maybe some of you gave someone an ultimatum or offered your love. And this person was just coming across here like this nine of cups energy. Well, you know, I see you giving me that cup, but where am I going to put it? Or I'm just denying that right now because I don't know what I want. So let's clarify and see what else can come through here. I want to clarify this Empress card. Is the energy for the Empress card? Energy for the Empress. Oh, oh, three cards fell out. Huh. King of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. So now we have another nine. And yet another nine. Um, with the nine of wands in the reverse. Okay. This person isn't even contemplating. Someone's not even contemplating trying to make something work or try to get, try to fight for something. There's an energy of wanting to stay single. And who's the king of pentacles? You, some of you could be dealing with an earth sign. Taurus. And then also I picked up Pisces. I picked up Libra. Doesn't have to be. Capricorn, Virgo. Doesn't have to be. Um, okay. I be quiet, Siri. So, yeah, I just kind of feel like, I don't kind of feel like, I just feel like during this time period, Somebody is not going to get in the ring. They're not trying to figure out 
how they're going to make something happen, how they're going to do something, you know, how, how to work, how to make it work. They're not, they're not strategizing. They're not planning. They're just out of the game. That's what I feel like this person's doing. And, and I feel like that's what has something to do with this three of swords here. Now let's talk in the case of, I have another message here. So Leo, <clears throat> Leo, you might be trying to end something with someone, this king of pentacles, okay, because you want to be single. And it's kind of the same message. And you might have this king of pentacles as earth sign during this time period who may be trying to offer you their love and you, for some reason, you don't want it. You're blocking it. You're not fighting for this connection or this relationship anymore. You want your independence during this time. More blockage, fighting it off. You don't know what you want. You may have quite a few suitors yourself. And you can't make a decision. But you, you know, I do feel like there, there is this King of Pentacles person, whoever they are, trying to make some type of a love offer to you. And I don't feel like you're sure about them right now because of either some of you, if you're female could be pregnant or some of you are dealing with someone who got someone else pregnant. And now they're coming back to try to come back to you because they screwed up and you might just be saying no, you know, that's another message that could be coming through. Um, I mean, not could, is coming through, but it could resonate for some of you. Some of you could be dealing with someone, again, like I said, who's just very smug. So let's take a look at what your love messages are from the Romance Angels Oracle deck and your advice. I really didn't feel the need to keep clarifying this reading, so I guess it will be a little bit short than maybe the others. What are the messages for Leo? Love advice. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? So basically, time together, even though you're listening to this love reading about one person, time together can just be... Um, I feel it, it, it honestly, okay, I'll just say it. It wouldn't make sense to say you need to go on a honeymoon with your partner, <laughs> but some of you might, even if this person, whoever your significant other or whoever it is, that's trying not to be with you. Some of you, the messages coming through are going to need to go on some type of a vacation or something with this person. I don't know why, but I just feel like that could be coming through. The other thing is some of you need to just go take a vacation or get away from this person, whether you're the one doing the breaking up or they're ending it with you, you need to go with a family member or a friend and just go take a little vacation or start planning to get, or just go get complete spontaneous, just go. Okay. So you're going to have to decide what may need to happen. So I just, I am going to pull a clarifying card for this honeymoon card. So I want to ask, okay, for those who have someone who is just trying to end something with them for those Leos. Why does Leo need to try to take a vacation with this person? Where is the sense in this? What is the message for them for that? So they can let go of the past. Kind of like a final thing for you both to do. To... I, I don't know how to say it. It's kind of like, um, I don't know. I have weird analogies. I'm picturing like a, I'm picturing like an electrical cord, you know, like a surge protector, um, putting in that last final surge of whatever's left in a particular situation, or at least during this last couple of weeks of July, some, somebody needs to let go of the past. That's what I'm seeing. And this honeymoon card, I'm, it, 
doesn't necessarily mean honeymoon because some of you are married, some aren't. Some of you need to get off of this whole everything is just fantastic with this person and we're in puppy love and all that because I feel like some of you might be holding on to someone who isn't trying to have something with you and it leaves you stuck in the past. And some of you need to get away from the whole idea about, you know, holding on to what used to be so great, you know, in the sense that if this person doesn't want to be with you anymore, holding on and sticking with them because you guys were so in love at one point is not always a reason to stay with that person especially if it, if they're walking away you can't are you going to hold on to their their tail and let them drag you around i mean some of you i mean when the six of cups is in the reverse this just tells me let go of the past because some of you are still stuck there and that could be why it's difficult for you right here why this difficulty is or why you keep offering maybe your love to someone hoping that they will just suddenly wake up and suddenly realize that, you know, what we had was so great. Maybe they will later down the line, but during this per time period, they don't even have any more room. They're blocking love. They have all that they need at this point. And so it's kind of dreary and kind of drab. Um, I just feel like, it's not me. The three of swords comes up. That's always a downer. And it sits here as the overall energy with, with this Empress card here. So that's why I feel like something is going on here that you need to take a look at. You know, I think I, the energy must be flowing from Cancer into Leo because Cancer has the same thing. So some of you might be dealing with Cancer as well. But I think it's really important maybe at this point to just see what's going on here. Because look, all those cups and the nine of cups he has, the seven of cups, he, this person may need to make a decision about, you might be among several other love offer or love, love cup cups that are coming through for this person and they're undecided and they're blocking everything right now. They're blocking, allowing because they can't figure it out. Maybe later, maybe like in August, they will figure it out or it's you blocking these love offers because you're not sure what, what you want just yet. You're just undecided blocking, blocking, and so if that's the case, you know, some of you may need to just uh, simply just you, because of your indecision, some of you may need to just get away, get out of this being stuck in this past indecision of not knowing what to do and, you know, get away and just go take some time. Maybe you need to figure some things out in regard to someone. So there's a couple of messages here that are slightly different. I don't, I feel like half of you are dealing with someone from your past. This is a, this is a connection that's gone on for a long time. Some of you may want to have a child and this other person doesn't, or they're undecided and that's causing this heartbreak. Some of you may need to go on a honeymoon in order to make that happen. Wink, wink. Okay. I do see this King of Pentacles here being financially able to provide. So if some of you are in the situation where this person is telling you they don't have any money, it's bullshit. They do. They can provide. I'm not seeing a court card here where you need to go to court and get money or child support or anything like that. But I do, they definitely do have the money. They, you know, this person, if, if some of you ladies wind up getting pregnant um, by accident, 
And it's, you know, some of you may decide this three of swords is a surgery card too. Some of you may decide to uh, not keep a baby. And so this person may want you to and may, you know, try to tell you, I know we're not really together. We're single, but, you know, let's try to make it work. Um, I can support you. They're not even thinking twice about this. They don't need to regroup about this situation. Okay. They may be offering love to you, um, but you may not. I mean, you may accept it, but you may not because there's indecision. Maybe you don't know how you truly feel about this person. Maybe there's no love here. Maybe it was just a one night stand for some of you or just someone you've been dating, but you're not really feeling you know, so some of that energy could be playing out during this time period. So that's going to be your reading. I will um, see you guys August. All right. Take care. Bye.